let us see the sixth experiment the trust now let us leave the name experiment six trust let us choose the unit self metric and let us create We need to create uh, this kind of truss. Then let us draw it. And the units are uh, uh, dimensions are two meters, two meters, two meters, two meters, two, two, one, two, three, four, five, six, six into two. Totally twelve meters of length. And in height also it is two meters each. Six meters totally. <laughs> let us create this kind of truss. So go to grid, beam grid. And this is having only 10 meters. Let us create our kind of this. So in next direction, let us increase it to 12 according to our requirement. Let us choose this. So initially it is 10. If you choose this truss, you can see the 12 points here. Go to view, choose the front view. <coughs> now we have to create the truss we want. Let us give the shape to it. Every 2 meters, I'm putting a point over there node. 8, 10, 12 and here about 10 and this uh, line is 2, 10 and 2, 10 comma 2 and another one is 4 comma 8 and another one is 6 comma 6 again here 4 comma 4, 2 comma 2 and 0 comma 0. Uh, <coughs> let us see the shape of it. So this is the kind of press how to generate. Okay, <clears throat> now let us choose the beam grid again and let us, uh, it will, uh, it can be disappeared easily. So this is the trans geometry part is over. So we have to go to properties now. Let us go to properties now. So in here, uh, here you can see according to the version, you can see either standard or section database. So let us choose standard from this uh, new format 2023. So in standard, let us choose the Indian standard code. Uh, we have to choose CHS. We have to choose the pipe kind of thing. So let us choose, uh, I'm choosing the last one, 355.6 by 12. Material is steel. Let us add it. Okay, now this is what we have created. CHS 355.6 by 12. Let us choose this. Let us assign to this entire uh, trust assign to view assign yes properties part is over next materials there's the steel choose the steel assign to view assign yes next let us go to supports specifications let us not disturb it uh, go to supports create it so the kind of supports we have here is hinged here is uh, roller support so let us choose the pin which is nothing but hinged support and uh, here I am choosing the support to assign to assign to sorry use cursor to assign assign directly you can uh, click on this let us put the hinge here let us choose uh, create another support which is which is roller so here we cannot find the roller support directly we have to choose fixed but here we can customize this so roller support have the uh, reaction only in vertical direction. So let us release all the forces and moments except Fy, which is in vertical direction. Add. Let us choose support 3. And you can see uh, at the cursor, there is a support, roller support is there. Let us place it here. So support part is over. Let us go to loading. So what is, uh, initially we have to give uh, dead load and live load. So load case details, add. Then loading type, dead load I am choosing, load case here, dead load I am doing, add, and second one, live load, let us add live load here, add, so dead load, so we have given just the names, now we have to give the uh, magnitudes of those loads, uh, dead load, choose the dead load, add, by default, this is self weight load in y direction factor minus one that is fine. Let us just add and close it. So, here you can see the question mark that indicates it is not yet assigned. Choose that self weight 
assign to view uh, that applies to the entire structure assign it live load so what are the live loads we have let us see the loading diagram now so here 10 kilo newton 8 6 here also 8 here also 6 so let us use this live load add nodal load so at the nodes the load is being acted in f y direction we have minus 10 add we have minus 8 kilo newton add and also we have minus 6 add Close. You can see the three loads are here. So let us use the first load. Let us use the cursor to assign. Directly click on assign and you can place the load which is on the top. This is 10 kN. Second one, uh, so 8 kN is here and 6 kN is here. So loading part is now over. So we have to give the combination load details, load case details, add, define combinations. Here we have to give uh, the factor of safety for steel is generally 1.15. Let us choose this. Let us shift the loads here, add, close. Now let us go to analysis. Define commands. Let us choose all, add, close. Let us use pre-analysis commands, define commands, let us choose all, add, close. Post-analysis commands, let us choose define commands. So here you can see the three loads, let us select them, shifting by shifting here, add, and we have to choose an analysis results, add, close. So uh, we can do run analysis now, you can see. You can see zero errors. Done. Let us go for design. Okay. And I design part. Let us choose the steel. Because this is the steel. So if you want to see, you can see in geometry. Uh, sorry. View tab. 3D rendering. You can see the tube like steel truss. Okay. Let us choose this. Uh, let us go to design part. Choose steel. And choose the code as IS800. Choose the code as IS800. Now select parameters. We do not want all these. Let us uh, shift, shift this here. Uh, into available parameters, we have to choose only the yield strength of the steel. Let us select the parameter by clicking this one. Uh, okay. okay, let us select parameters. We need only the yield strength. So let us shift that here. Okay. Then go to define parameters and this is yield strength of the steel. We are taking it as Newton per mm square or 250,000 kilo Newton per meter square at close. Uh, so here we have to choose this and assign to view. This is uh, the steel of similar grade for all the members commands. We have to check code add and we have to choose the member, member takeoff at close. Check code. Again, we have to assign it to the view. Assign, yes. And still member take off, of course, to entire section. Then that trust. Okay, it is over. So let us go for run analysis again. Save. Okay, fine. We have, we can choose, uh, we can go to post processing now. Let us choose the loads here. And if you want to see the only displacement, choose the displacement and um, you press on control and you can scroll it up. Now choose it and, and then select this. Select the shear force. And if you want to see that, uh, increase the scale. Press control and scroll it up. I'll check this. Choose the bending moment. If you want to see this again, you can do the same thing. Press control and scroll it up. So you can see together all, uh, if you only want to see the displacements with annotations. So let us go to this annotate part. Let us choose the node global Y annotate close. And you can see how the loads are applied. And we have to see the reactions. So annotate reactions. So we can choose all global Y is a bending. 
annotate and you can see only in y direction 19 kilo newton was the load reaction so we can see now in post processing the results of the beam the uh, sorry displacements this is how it would be in analytical modeling if you just double click on the member you can see the steel design part here you can see the result of the member whether it is passed or not you can see all the details of the beam so the length of it so here you can see the cross section loading here shear bending deflection design property steel design and here you can see also the result whether it is passed or not so the itself is uh, the design and analysis of the truss using stato connect thank you